Do you want to maximize your YouTube ads profits on one of the highest sales days of the entire year? I'm obviously talking about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And for a lot of brands, this one weekend can produce more revenue and profits than the rest of the year. And what I'll tell you right now is there is a right way to running Black Friday campaigns and a wrong way, which is entirely time consuming and can lead you to waste a lot of money. So I'm going to be sharing with you a three pronged strategy that you can employ employ this Black Friday, which is going to be cost effective and geared to get you the most amount of returns for the least amount of ad spend possible. And don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to set up those campaigns so that you can implement it yourself with ease. If you've ever run campaigns on Black Friday before, you'll know it's not the cheapest time of year to run ads. You're competing with the big brands like Nike and Best Buy, who are all driving up the ad costs. And not to mention nowadays, it seems like almost everybody is running some sort of Black Friday offers, again, making the ad inventory a lot more expensive. In our agency, we've noticed over the last couple of years, Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekends consistently are the highest CPM weekends of the entire year. Unfortunately, what this means for you as a brand is that this is probably not the best time of year to go out and get new customers. Now, I do want to mention again, if you want to go out, get new customers, you're more than welcome to do so. Just know it will be a lot more expensive. What Black Friday is really great for is converting those people that have already interacted with your brands but aren't necessarily ready to buy. Maybe they're sitting on the fence or they're just sitting there as a maybe buyer. All right, so as a advertiser and a brand, the best way you can convert some of these people is to play into the scarcity that Black Friday creates. So you're gonna wanna come up with offers that kind of play into the whole Black Friday thing. So offer discounts, maybe offer a bonus, maybe a buy one, get one, whatever it may be, make sure it's super relevant to just the Black Friday. Friday period. And then once you have that specific offer for Black Friday, and I do want to make sure that it is unique, meaning that you are not using this offer for the rest of the year, you're not using it in other sales, that it's truly unique to Black Friday, what you're going to want to do is create remarketing campaigns with that Black Friday offer. That's right. We're going to be creating remarketing campaigns to retarget people that have already interacted with your business with a brand new offer. And the cool thing about this is that remarketing campaigns are still going to be very cost effective because they're not as expensive as going after new customers and the audiences that you're going to be using are going to be high intent, meaning this is going to be the lowest hanging fruit for you to capitalize on. What I suggest is making your remarketing audiences as wide as possible to start with. So this is going to be people that have interacted with your ads, landed on your website, maybe liked your social profiles. Don't just limit your remarketing campaigns to the highest intent buyers like, you know, the people that have jumped on sales calls or abandoned something in cart. You want to be remarketing everybody that's interacted with your business. And here's exactly how you set these campaigns up. So in your dashboard, you're going to just create a new campaign as normal. And now when you get to the campaign objective page, uh, instead of choosing sales or leads or campaign without guidance, what we're going to be doing is selecting awareness and consideration. The reason for this is we want as many people to see our ads as possible in our set audiences. And because our set audiences are going to be remarketing audiences, we know that there is at least some sort of buyer intent there. So we aren't necessarily going to be wasting money. This is also going to be the cheapest way for you to get your ads out. So the CPNs are going to be super low. So we're just going to click video and we're going to go for video reach again for the same reasons. We want as many people in our audience to see these ads. All right. In terms of the actual ad type, we'll just stick with efficient reach just because we'll let Google figure out how to best get our ads out there. All right. From there on out, it's pretty much the standard way to set up our campaign. So I'm just going to set a daily budget of $50. The ad can run wherever. And because we're running a special type of campaign objective, we can just limit it to YouTube, right? So get rid of video partners and Google TV locations. Because I'm remarketing everything, I'm just going to do all countries and territories because I know what my audience is. Uh, language is English, related videos, nothing. Uh, devices can be anywhere. I recommend just sticking to uh, mobile and computer, but again, you guys can split test this. All right, now we get to probably the most important thing when it comes to remarketing campaigns on a little sale window, as I call it, which is going to be frequency capping. The reason for this is you don't want to overly bombard your audience with the same ad over and over. And again, trust me, it's going to end up costing so much and your audience is going to hate you for showing the same ads and over and over again. So you're going to want to limit your impression caps and view caps. So for frequency, what I say is do it per week and then 
from here, what we can say is we'll do four impressions per week and we can do two views per week. This is just going to keep the cost down low and then again, won't annoy your audience. All right. So uh, ad schedule could be any day, third party measurement. We're not worrying about that. Let's go into audiences. From here, we're just going to go down into audience segments browse and then go to how they have interacted with your business. So these are just going to be your custom audiences. So like I said, go as wide as possible here. So website visitors do all visitors as far back as you can go, right? So let's do all visitors. And then if you have YouTube audiences, again, anybody that's viewed a ad, anybody that's subscribed to your channel, uh, the biggest audience possible, right? So 90 day channel viewers watch sample ad, right? So subscribers 540 days. So this is going to be a very wide wide, wide audience for us. All right, that's pretty much it for the audience. We're gonna leave content alone. We're gonna leave creative alone for now. We'll get back to that, don't you worry. And let's move down to target CPM. So most likely you guys have been running uh, YouTube ads before. Go look at your average CPM. What I recommend is increase it by 20 to 50% and you should be good. Again, if your ads are not spending, increase the bids. If they're spending too quickly and all your budget's gone first day, then experiment with lowering the bid. But that's pretty much it. All you have to do is create campaign and you should be on your way. Okay, so now that you know the who to target on Black Friday, let's talk about the how, because a lot of people mix this up and they don't necessarily know how to script specific ads for these types of campaigns. Now, if you're a follower of this channel for a while, you'll know we like to do remarketing ads in a very specific way. I'm gonna need you to ignore that because Black Friday campaigns are a little bit different. So we're not gonna be calling out our customers and calling out where they left off on the customer journey. So, you know, people that have maybe watched a webinar or abandoned something at cart, we're not gonna be calling them out and we're not not going to be objection blasting. So you know how we make ads with uh, different angles, trying to address some of the objections people have. That's not necessarily what we're doing with Black Friday. You want to make ads that are direct straight to the point and kind of address your Black Friday offer. The hook in the ad script needs to be your offer. That's going to be the thing that's going to be driving your ads. Next, if you want, you can still call out your audience, but I recommend don't call out where they left off on the customer journey. And then right after that, I'm going to want you to put your call to actions. And then after your call to actions, then you can go into restating all of the promises and problems that your product or service solves. And I'll give you an example of this. Hey, this Black Friday, we are giving you $200 off our YouTube ads course. All you have to do is click the link in the description and use the code BF200 and you will get the discount. If you've been following us for a while and you've wanted to learn how to run YouTube ads profitably and become an expert at YouTube ads, this is probably the best time for you to grab our YouTube ads course. Grab it before this deal goes away. By the way, that is a real ad. We are running a promo for Black Friday. So if you want $200 off, again, use the code down in the description down below. <laughs> okay, once you have your ads and you know exactly who you're gonna target, the most important thing about these Black Friday campaigns is going to be when you actually run them. And you might be thinking, Neil, these are Black Friday campaigns. I'm just gonna be running them on Black Friday. <laughs> Duh. Well, unless you're one of those online gurus with like 12 Lamborghinis and money to burn, this is gonna be a way to actually save on the ad scheduling part. And if you are one of those online gurus with 12 Lamborghinis, hit me up, I'll run your ads. All right, so you're gonna wanna set up and run your Black Friday campaigns the minute you're seeing this video. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, hopefully a few weeks before Black Friday, but if not, please, please, please get your campaigns up and running at least a week before Black Friday. So for 2023, you wanna get your campaigns up and running running by the 20th latest. And here's the kicker. You want your campaigns to actually end on Wednesday night on the 22nd at 1159 at night. Why Wednesday? Because well, Thursday is Thanksgiving and we've noticed that people really don't convert on ads on Thanksgiving, especially in the US. But if you're not running your ads in the US, again, feel free to run them till Thursday. This is your discretion. But if you put two and two together, you'll notice that we're not actually running campaigns on Black Friday weekend itself. That's because it's way too expensive and it's way too noisy. So get your message out there before everybody else. And since costs are so astronomical during Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend, you're only going to be making remarketing campaigns to people who are super interested in your Black Friday offer. So yeah, we're remarketing their remarketing audiences. And you can also, again, couple in the super high intent audiences. So these are going to be people that have left stuff in the cart or maybe had a sales phone call with you. Again, on Black Friday weekend, we're actually only targeting and making campaigns for the highest intent buyers just because 
getting those ads out, the CPMs are gonna be through the roof. And honestly, the ad can be the exact same one that you've recorded for the rest of the week. The goal here is just to get that final push, get those last few people that are still on the fence to convert. But here's the thing, you can follow everything that I've laid out in this video, but if your ads aren't engaging, none of your Black Friday campaigns will actually convert. So be sure to watch this video to learn 10 ways to make your ads more engaging.